Patch Adams is a 1998 American biographical comedy drama movie directed by Tom Shadyac, starring Robin Williams, set in the late 1960s. It is based on the life story of daughter Hunter Patch Adams. The movie received generally unfavorable reviews from critics, criticizing the sentimental tone, direction, and deviations from the original story. The movie grossed over 202 million against a 50 to 90 million budget. The movie is about a daughter who treats patients using humor. Unfortunately, the medical community does not appreciate his methods, while the actual patients, medical professors, and hospital nurses appreciate his work. October Sky is a 1999 American biographical drama movie directed by John Stone starring Jake Gyllenhaal. The screenplay by Libby Colick based on the memoir of the same name tells the true story of Homer H. Hickam Jr., a coal miner's son who was inspired by the launch of Sputnik 1 in 1957 to take up rocketry against his father's wishes and eventually became a NASA engineer even though he faces resistance from his father. I Am Sam is a 2001 American drama movie co-written and directed by Jen C. Nelson and starring Sean Penn as her father with an intellectual disability and Dakota Fanning as well also as his bright and inquisitive daughter. Movie revolves around Sam, a man with special needs, fights for the custody of his daughter when her mother abandons them. He tries to prove that he is a capable father with the help of an infamous lawyer. This movie is about a high school junior named Nadine who is already at the peak awkwardness when her all-star older brother Darian starts dating her best friend Krista all at once. Nadine feels more alone than ever until an unexpected friendship with a thoughtful teen gives her a glimmer of hope that things just might not be so terrible after all. The Notebook is a 2004 romantic drama movie directed by Nick Cassavetes. The film stars Ryan Gosling and Rachel McAdams as a young couple who falls in love in the 1940s. The story is read from a notebook in the present day by an elderly man telling the tale to a fellow nursing home resident. Movie mostly revokes around two lovers who were separated by fate to Miss Hamilton, an old woman who suffers from dementia on a daily basis out of his notebook. Lion is a 2016 Australian biographical drama movie directed by Garth Davis. The movie is about an Indian boy Saru who gets separated from his family at the age of 5 and ends up being adopted by an Australian couple. However, 25 years later, he returns to India to search for his birth parents. Emotional triggers might arrive at several points during this decade-spanning tale of longing and loss that is also a mystery about an unknown past.
Film Nova told us with the same cast, Rachel Linklater's Boyhood is a groundbreaking story of growing up as seen through the eyes of a child named Mason, who literally grows up on screen before our eyes. Boyhood charts the rocky terrain of childhood like no other movie has before. Snapshots of adolescents from road trips and family dinners to birthdays and graduations and all the moments in between become transcendent in this emotional movie. This movie is about Sophie who has an uneventful life at her late father's hat shop, but all that changes when she befriends Wizard House who lives in a magical flying castle. However, the evil witch of Waste takes issue with their budding relationship and casts a spell on young Sophie which ages her prematurely. Now Howl must use all his magical talents to battle the jealous hag and return Sophie to her former youth and beauty. This movie is about a very touching boy who feels very damaged, guilty and mostly angry. He struggles at school with bullies and pity looks from everyone and at home with his mother's terminal sickness, he copes with all his issues with this big tree monster. This movie is about a young Trevor McKinney, troubled by his mother's alcoholism and fears of his abusive but absent father, is caught up by an intriguing assignment from his new social studies teacher, Mr. Simonet. The assignment is think of something to change the world and put it into action. Trevor conjures the notion of paying a favor not back, but forward repaying good deeds not with payback, but with new good deeds done to three new people. Trevor's efforts to make good on his idea bring a revolution not only in the lives of himself, but his mother and his physically and emotionally scared teacher but in those of an ever-widening circle of people completely unknown to him. This movie is about an adopted fox and a doobie hunting hound becomes inseparable friends as pups. Their friendship grows stronger every day in their childhood, but as they grow older they grow farther and farther apart till the day when the two old comrades Bond is put to the ultimate test. The two friends also struggle to preserve their friendship despite their emerging instincts and the surrounding social pressures demanding them to be adversaries as they are enemies by nature. This movie is about a seasoned musician named Jackson Maine who discovers and falls in love with struggling artist Ali. She has just about given up on her dream to make it big as a singer until Jack occurs her into the spotlight. But even as Ali's career takes off, the personal side of their relationship is breaking down as Jack fights an ongoing battle with his own internal demons and alcoholism. This movie is about a one of the mega producing companies, Bill's David, an artificial kid which is the first to have real feelings, especially a never ending love for his mother Monica. Monica is the woman who adopted him as a substitute for her real son who remains in cryptosis, stricken by an incurable disease. David is living happily with Monica and her husband, but when their real son returns home, after a cure is discovered, his life changes dramatically. This movie is about Ellen Hansen, a anxious, isolated high school student who is aching for understanding and belonging amid the chaos and cruelty of the social media age. He soon embarks on a journey of self-discovery when a letter he wrote for a writing exercise falls into the hands of a grim couple whose son took his own life.
This movie is about an old man who makes a living by selling bamboo. One day he finds a princess in a bamboo. The princess is only the size of a finger. Her name is Kaguya. When Kaguya grows up, five men from prestigious families propose to her. Kaguya asks the men to find memorable marriage gifts for her. But the five men are unable to find what Kaguya wants. Then the emperor of Japan proposes to her. Then the Asuras prove their love by completing a series of near impossible tasks. This movie is about Christian, a young English writer who has come to Paris to follow the Bohemian Revolution taking hold of the city's drug and prostitute infested underworld. And nowhere is the thrill of the underworld more alive than at the Moulin Rouge a nightclub where the rich and poor men alike come to be entertained by the dancers. But things take a wicked turn for Christian as he starts a deadly affair with the star of the club, Sadie. But her affections are also covered up by the club's patron, the Duke. A dangerous love triangle ensues as Sadie and Christian attempt to fight all odds to stay together, but a force that not even love can conquer is taking its toll on Saturday. This movie is about Lester Burnham, a gainfully employed suburban husband and father. Fed up with his boring, stagnant existence, he quits his job and decides to reinvent himself as a pot smoking responsibility shirking teenager. What follows is at once cynical, hysterical, and eventually tragically uplifting. Having a respectable job and a family, but inside, he is slowly slipping into depression. Struggling with life, he gets infatuated with his daughter's friend, Angela. Despite his family's baffling generations old ban on music, Michael dreams of becoming an accomplished musician like his idol, Ernesto. Desperate to prove his talent, Michael finds himself in the stunning and colorful land of the dead following a mysterious chain of events. Along the way, he meets charming trickster Heather and together they set off an extraordinary journey to unlock the real story behind Miguel's family history. A professor finds an abandoned dog and takes him home. Over a period of time, he forms an unbreakable bond with the dog. Seventy-three-year-old Alvin Street is a simple living and stubborn man who lives on his social security. He is also failing in health. He doesn't tell his mentally disabled daughter Rose, who lives with him, of many of these issues. He learns that his brother Lyle Street, from whom he has been estranged for ten years, has just suffered a heart attack. Unable to drive, Alvin embarks on a journey from Iowa to Mount Zion by riding a lawnmower until he succeeds.